Hey there, Ted here. When I use my GoPro in the pool or when I'm swimming, I usually end up finding I'm using it on a handle, a little stick. And then when I go to swim, I get lots of weird motions, right? I can't hold it steady, I can't swim properly. So yeah, if that the stick doesn't work for a lot of swimming stuff. It works great if I say I'm filming the kids playing around in the pool, that kind of stuff. But if I want to swim and record, I end up finding I'm going towards using a head strap or something like that. And head strap doesn't work great when you're trying to use a snorkel and mask or something like that. So for Christmas, we got a couple of these. They are body glove air, airy, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, it's a snorkel mask. So the mask and snorkel as one piece person who gave these to us, uh, got them from Costco. Uh, made by Bloody Body Glove. Um, looks pretty good. We're gonna do an unboxing here, and then we're gonna give a bit of a test. So what are some of the features here? Uh, Air-filled silicone seal for extra comfort. Quick fit clip system with adjustable elastic straps. Equalize ear pressure. Uh, separate inhale and exhale airflow design for safety. That's pretty cool. Fog-free system for clear 180 degree panoramic vision. I want to see what that is like. Hopefully that works really well because that is a problem we have with masks, of course, as they uh, they fog up. And then clip-on action camera mount. So that's the big one. Can we get the GoPro on this? And how will that work? Well, let's start an unboxing. Let's see how it goes. Uh, on the back, one size fits most. So it should fit most adult or larger regular size heads kind of deal. Um, never jump into the jumper, dive into the water while wearing the mask. Makes sense to me. Always follow good safety practices. Uh, da, 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 yep. Uh, it comes with a mesh, uh, utility bag to hold the stuff. So let's start opening this and uh, see what it looks like. Okay. What do we got here? First thing comes out, this is going to be the mesh bag. Looks like. So it's a decent size. That's pretty good. So put that over the way, out of the way. What's the next thing here? Okay, what's this? Oh, this is. Okay, it looks like a yeah, a bit of an instruction manual, but it also has. This will be the clip for the GoPro. So this must slide onto another piece. Obviously, must just connect. So that's where you put the GoPro mount, screw it in, and set your settings and stuff like that. Also has uh, two rubber seals, so there must be a few places where uh, seals can maybe uh, break and stuff like that, and that's for, for replacement or uh, just for maintenance, so that's good. What do we got here? What else? Uh, is the rest of it's going to just come as one? Now it's coming. There it goes. Okay, that's it for the box. The box is empty and put that out of the way. There we go, turn it over, there's the mask. So mask and this other extension bit, so obviously the snorkel piece goes on. Additionally, um, I can see right there on the snorkel mask, there's two uh, little seals. That's what these two spare ones will be for, for if those get wrecked or whatever. So if you're traveling, remember to take those with you. mask and part of the snorkel I guess and nothing else on that cardboard so that's pretty nice it's no zap straps or no anything like that to hold it all down so that's pretty good easy clip system so that looks like yeah that's just a press down on that button to release so that's good um, so that should make it pretty easy to put on and off especially for the kids just we'll tighten it and they just kind of put it on and click. there we go uh, let's take a closer look in the mask here. Move the stuff out of the way, maybe. I'll unclip it again. Clip it again. Move the stuff to the side. So, yeah. Um, see the mask area? Um, definitely got a nice little cush for the uh, the padding there. So that's the air field. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, so that's where the, the face will go. 
I'm just telling you from this, I can see some bubbles on the front screen. So those uh, plastic protector on the front, I'm going to have to take off. Nose goes in there, a little bit of a protection for the bridge. And then you can see the valve right down in there where you breathe from. The, that'll be the exhale path through there, I guess. And then here's the snorkel piece. Body glove, nice and prominent yellow. So when you suck in, pulls in air, and then it'll float back up uh, to prevent water coming in to, uh, well, drown you, frankly. Okay, so looking at that, that obviously just clips on there. But before I clip that on, I'm going to need to put on the GoPro mount. So the big question is, where exactly does the GoPro mount go? Does it go on this piece? Does it go on this piece? Where does it go? And you can actually, if I get this closer, see right there, the mount's right at the beginning. So it is going on here from the looks of it. Um, so I'm not, what's not extremely clear is how that goes on. Does that go on like that? That doesn't look right to me, no. Probably goes the other way. Push that on. Oh uh, yeah, that goes in all the way. Yeah, clips over the end here. So that's good. That makes all sense. And then let's make sure I can still get this to clip on where it needs to go. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's not break anything. It's close to going in. Clip on. Huh. Well, there we go. I got it in there. I believe. Yeah, I can see. I don't know if the camera's going to get it, but we can see right there that the clip has gone on. This is in all the way. That is there. It is working. So, obviously, I have not adjusted this at all yet. So, let's just see what this looks like. There. Just like that. And then it just kind of clips in. There. Now, I definitely need to do adjustments. It's heavy at the top. Let's go put the GoPro on. I've gotten my GoPro Hero 7 Black here and one of the screw bolts. So that does not come with. You get the mount, but not the screw bolt. So let's uh, let's put this on the mount. So that just goes on like that. Get the screw in there, or bolt, I guess. Tighten her down. So what kind of flexibility do we have here? So if I'm in the water looking down like that, swimming straight down, if I'm in the water looking straight down like that, that is the furthest angle up I can get on that uh, GoPro. Uh, I can get it level with my head, I can make it quite level, or I can look it back, essentially looking down my body length. That's not bad, that's pretty cool. So you could uh, film yourself uh, kind of swimming from the front here. That's that's pretty neat. It's pretty uh, that's pretty pretty flexible. Might be nice to have a little bit more up that way, just so you can kind of come near the water. But that's pretty good. That's uh, that's neat. Uh, I like that. Ooh, yes, that should be pretty cool. Okay, so the next step is I got to test this thing. First, let's maybe uh, before I go too much further, let's try this on my head with the extra weight. Okay, so I've got the GoPro Hero 7 Black on there. And click. There we go. It's okay, I can't even see it up there, so that's good. It does add a bit to the weight. And, uh, yeah, so the uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black does add a bit to the weight there. But it's not awful, and when you're in the water, of course, you're going to get some buoyancy, so that's good. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Now I think I need to go find a way to test this. Well, I don't think this is going to work. This was not quite made for this weather. Going to have to try something else. Now this is better. Good? 
Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to take my sunglasses off. I'll be back. Guess sunglasses will not work in the mask. There's <laughs> guy out there. Alright, you have to adjust her GoPro. There's Jay. It just may not be tight enough. Okay, uh, tighten here too, eh? Uh, I guess. Do you need some help? Um, I think I'm good. I think you're good? Okay. There you go, okay. Okay, I had to tighten it a little, getting water into the bottom part, without the mouth. Good. Uh, I do have sunscreen on my face though, so I don't think I'm getting quite as good a uh, 
the seal as I would normally like, eh? Yeah. Got a little bit of water in, but not bad. It's actually. I keep on water in my eyes. In your eyes? Oh, okay, that's not good. Let's do a tight knot. Mine gets into the bottom, so. The top okay that time? Um, yeah. Okay, so let's do the bottom. Let's try tightening here, and then try the back again. Yeah. <laughs> there's some fan coral over there. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. And there's a bunch of other fish. Yeah. Alrighty. So the body glove swimming masks. Conclusion. We've given a good try, good test. Um, we tried all four of the ones we have for uh, um, while we were down on vacation. And uh, we tried them with GoPros and uh, all that kind of stuff. And overall, good, good quality construction. Um, nothing's damaged or anything like that. But we did find we had issues getting a good fit on the kids for sure. Um, they're always getting water in. Um, I think if you have a thinner face, these aren't going to work very well. They work, work pretty well for me, but my wife had some issues and the. Uh, the kids had issues with water coming in. Um, maybe they would be better in more still water than uh, where we were, because there were some waves when we were testing them out. So uh, there, that was an issue. Uh, I did have one problem as well, where uh, basically I don't know if it was what got stuck, but I couldn't get air. Um, so I don't know if the slider got stuck, if there got sand in it, something. It uh, definitely had some issues. Um, from the GoPro mount perspective, it works, but I did find that uh, depending on how you were swimming, the GoPro didn't always end up in the water fully um, when it was filming, so you had to be very careful about how you mounted it and how you set it. Um, but other than that, I mean, it was, it was interesting to try. Um, it's cool to uh, try some new things, and uh, I suspect in the summer in the pool, they'll be a lot better. Uh, especially with the calmer water, but anyway, as it is, yeah. If you're going out somewhere with waves and you've got a thinner, fa thinner, thinner face, or for kids, I don't really quite see these being for you. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.